Hey there, it's Ash from Elementor. Ever wanted to create those side-by-side -side sticky layouts but couldn't get them to stay in their columns? Today I will show you how to use inner sections to create advanced, customized sticky layouts that won't leave their columns. Gain more control over your inner sections and maintain a clear and consistent experience on your website. Let's find out how that works. As you can see, I have created a section with three columns. I have already added some content to the first and third columns, so you can go ahead and add any content that you like. Make sure your content creates enough vertical space to scroll through the section. Now let's build our inner section. On the widgets menu, drag and drop the inner section widget here, and delete the extra column. Back to the widgets menu, drag in the image widget and choose the image of your preference. Select the inner section and go to the Advanced tab. Under Motion Effects, enable the sticky effect by selecting one of these two options. Depending on your design, you might want the inner section to stick to the top or bottom. In our example, we want the inner section to stick to the top, so we'll select this one. If we try to scroll, we will see that the inner section sticks to the top just like we set it to, but it sticks right at the top. We can control the distance between the top of the window and our section by using the offset option. Set it to 250 pixels, and let's try scrolling again. That looks much better. What happens though if we continue scrolling? The image keeps following the screen on the entire web page, even after the section is over. You can easily control this by enabling the Stay in Column option. This will make the element stay inside its column, helping you to create customized designs and control the motion of your elements. Let's go one step further and combine another motion effect to see how they work together. Select your image and in the Advanced tab, go to Motion Effects. We'll make this image rotate while we scroll down. So let's enable the Rotate option and customize it a bit. Now, if we try to scroll, we will see that the motion effect stops when the inner section becomes sticky. This happens because the effect by default is set relative to the viewport. We can make this work by selecting the effect to be relative to the entire page instead. Now, if we test it again, the motion works great while scrolling. Play around with your sticky inner sections that stay in their columns. Use it for hamburger menus or cool timelines. Make beautiful designs and take your creativity even further. Share with us your unique creations and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching.